How's it chillin', cringe babies? Welcome to Death Road to Canada, one of the greatest games of all time. You'll see why. Once Cena hears rumors that Canada is a safe place, free of the threat of zombies, with nothing to gain from waiting around in Florida. He decides to brave the Death Road and travel north. Automatic weapons are very hard to control if you have low shooting skill. Hit the road. So we're rockin' with Juan Cena and Jablin Jables. In this run. Start the journey, the group decides to grab some supplies from a nearby location. In order to survive the death road, you'll need to hoard as many supplies as you can. You will also need to find ways to train and grow your team. Um, we're going to choose the Yalmart. Yalmarts are always the best. And I will I will read all the encounters uh, towards the beginning, but uh, once we start seeing the same things over and over again, I'm not going to, okay? Yalmart. You got to get food. Food is a currency, and it's food, so it's kind of important. Oh, jeez, don't start with a weapon. And he starts with a broom. Nice one. Oi. I haven't played this in a while, so I'm probably going to be like, doo to cheeks at it. But I remember how to play, so it's really what's most important. Oi. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, I forgot how to slam stuff into the ground. I clearly have not played this in a bit. Die. Thank goodness these zombies are so slow. We are, uh, we're playing rare characters mode. It's one of the easier modes, but I need to... I'm trying to get the platinum on this game, eventually. And... In order to get the platinum, I need to win with a bunch of rare characters. Um, and it's almost impossible to win with those rare characters in OPP mode, which lets you pick rare characters from the start. Because that mode is freaking impossible, and the only way to easily beat it is with um, Mecha Mounty. But he he actually like kills your own teammates sometimes, and that's not that's not cool. I am not a fan of that. So doing rare characters mode and I figured I could just make a YouTube series on it because this game is awesome it's so underrated nobody plays it and that makes me sad so hopefully we can get some rare encounters as well hey fathead pick this up hey, you know what I'm you know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna give you we gotta stock up on weapons towards the beginning of the game that way uh that way, if we get more characters, we can give them weapons and stuff. Ooh, toilet. Okay, well, I believe that is it. I'm gonna make a quick circle through, and then we'll be out of here. If that is everything to search. It's not. Okay. It's just a toilet, nothing in there. Um, also, this first episode, I'm gonna leave it raw, and then later, I'm gonna cut out a lot of like uh, empty parts and trim it down to make the videos quicker and more entertaining to watch. So if you if you don't feel like watching all that stuff, don't worry, you won't have to in the future. Um, but do tell me, tell me if you want to see just raw gameplay of this game. I want to find a tank to drive around. That would be pretty sick. I don't think that's a thing though. I don't think you can do that. Um. Oh, let's go. I swear, if we get, I swear. Or, you know, hold on, I gotta, I'm gonna put some stuff in the trunk. Oh, I always like to carry a flashlight on me. And my uh second in command which would be Jablin Jables right there. Ernie's hardware, let's go. Hardware stores are really good because you get oh there you go. You can get lots of weapons, you can get gasoline, you can get chainsaws. Chainsaws are broken dude. No way. No freaking way. That's an electric chainsaw I think though. Hey fathead pick up pick up the fine I'll give you That's gotta be an electric chainsaw. There's no way I'd find it this way. Okay, it is. Okay. 
So the problem with electric chainsaws is you can't recharge them since it's the apocalypse. So you have to um, juice 80. Okay, so it starts off, it does start off better. And then, gonna, and then we'll go put some more weapons in the trunk. So that if we find more in the house, we'll be good to go. Where the poop is the car? There's the car. I'm stupid. Um, we gotta save the chainsaw for sieges, which you'll see what those are shortly. That'll be fine. The baseball bat can break, which is why I was hesitant to put that in the trunk, or to take everything out of the trunk. Because if it breaks, it doesn't have a weapon. He just uses his fists, and that's not very good, as you can imagine. Um, there we go. Okay, so nothing in there. Um, bathrooms will always have uh, meds. Um, if there's anything like a shelf in the bathroom, they always have meds. And if there's a, something in the toilet, it'll be either two pistol rounds or two gasoline. And of course, the toilet genie, which you may or may not see through this in this gameplay. I'm not sure. So right now, I think the plan is we're gonna go like three days at a time, maybe. This is like this is day one, I believe. So I don't know. I'll just I'll go, I'll go for like I don't want to make this too long of a video, so I'll go for like maybe. Eh, yeah, yeah. We'll see. You'll see. I'll know. Wow, this place sucks. There's nothing in here. Wooden boards also break very quickly, so I tend not to take those unless I'm in dire need of a new weapon. Because they break, they usually break within one or two hits. Ah, bullet. Only one, though. So I only get two toilet gasoline. Another bullet. We'll be stacked if we find a pistol. See? Meds. Um, let's go. Ah, uh, yeah. Oh, characters also have traits. Um, so you can make custom characters with custom traits. Um, Juan Cena is TSTC and Mega Buff. So he's basically just super strong. Um, and Jablin Jables is like an overall really good character, like medical stats, mechanic stat, or, or mechanical stats, I guess. I don't know. Um, so I have like really powerful, it can pick up stuff and throw it. Sometimes it seems worth it to run past a horde instead of fighting. That's a very good idea. Scrap iron. Its lights are still on. Everything in the machine costs $20, and the group has about that much in wrinkled and frayed bills. A stick. Not not gonna get the stick. We don't need gasoline this early in the game. It would be good to stock up on some though, but weapons are always the most important thing. Jablin. Uh, his morale decreases. A fully loaded shotgun pops out of the vending machine. So I guess it's just a pump shotgun. That's unfortunate. That is true, don't always have to get every recruit unless we have the food. I like to get every recruit though, because it's just better for the whole team. Endure the smell, our morale's okay. So I guess Javelin Jable's attitude is not great right now. Make sure to keep both hands on the wheel when driving. Fine, whatever. His morale decreases. Nice one, fathead. Oh my gosh. Okay. The fact that... Oh, his attitude's great. What? Okay, I'm not going to do this because... Juan Cena, or... Oh, trait warrior, and then perk TSTC. Okay. So he's really good at fighting, I guess. Um, his... Okay. So when there's a character like this, his strength... These stats on the far left here will be better than the stats on the middle and the right. So, and Jalen Jables is the one I use for medical and mechanical. So the fact that Wansin is mechanical is better than Jalen Jables is really bad. I'm not going to help them in a shootout, and I'm, I have to drive off. I have to drive off. I, I, I will die, okay? 
I do know this game pretty well, so you can bet I know what I'm talking about most of the time. Boy, why are you so tall? My gosh. He or she is wearing a mask and a robe. I saw axes, just axes. Hatchet's good. Nothing's worth it there. Oh yeah, welcome to, welcome to the fence of values. Huh, that's odd. Man selling a bunch of firearms. He's holding a minigun that has a scope, a laser sight, and a flashlight attached to it. However, the selection seems like pretty common stuff. Um, so this character, Mobile Gun Show, if you have someone who's really good at shooting, um, you'll get better items from him. You can be like, show me the real stock, and then he'll give you good stuff. Silence pistol. We don't have enough food to really buy anything. Oh. I'm Snowmi, don't you know me? Wait, that doesn't that joke doesn't work as well now. And Zombo points are used for upgrades in the store, and I don't have all the upgrades yet, so I'm gonna save them for the most part. And then once I just, you know, get maxed out on stupid zombo points, I'll buy some. Buy some stuff. Definitely gonna recruit this guy. Billy. That's a fish. Billy shooting is really good. Yep, there we go. That's a good character to get. Um, each character takes two food per food cycle. I think it's about twice a day. Siege, okay. Everybody see what a siege is. Um, yeah, okay, so he has his own stuff. I don't. Does he use our ammo? I think he uses our ammo. Let's use our ammo, so that's not great. In that case, I'm going to use Billy to lead. I'm going to play as Billy. Sieges also usually have really good stuff in them, like a, a, a gas power chainsaw. Holy crap. I also find it better in sieges to kill, if it's an easy siege like this, to kill all the zombies before you leave, because they will stop spawning once you can leave. Um, Jalen, you fathead, get out of there. They will stop spawning, so you can loot everything, and it's just safer, because if you try to run through the horde, somebody's going to get bit, or hit, hurt, in a way. And I always use the hit and run. Hit and run. Because if you if you hit multiple times, they'll grab you and then they'll hit you. Okay. Whoa, whoa, okay. Okay, that That screen shake is too much. That is Oh, you know what? That's just, that's, ex okay. That's exclusive to this character. I was wondering because I was like, I've never seen that ridiculous fishing pole. Um, I have never really seen that, to be honest. I've never seen it that bad. So, Jablin's weapon broke. So, we can come grab one of these nail boards. Chainsaw. And Jablin grabbed the wrench. And meds, right? Yeah. It'll be meds or junk in those. See, now we can leave nice and easy. If it's an easy siege like that, that is. Some sieges you gotta get out there or get out of there as soon as you possibly can because you will die. Best way is to open canned food. Nice. Plus two medical. Oh, that's really good. That's really good. We don't need that right now though, so I'm gonna choose morale and random skill again. You got you gotta keep the morale up. Shooting increases. Good. Fitness increases very good. Billy sh okay, why is Billy shooting increasing? His shooting's already really good. That's dumb. No wonder Canada is doing fine. Yep. Hockey sticks are good weapons. I think we need the food. I think we actually really need the food. Uh we don't need it. 
I think it's a good idea to get the food, though. It's like, what? Yeah, 11 food. There you go. Now we got food. Everybody will be tired, though, so they'll have less ability to destroy stuff or kill stuff. A giant prehistoric monster is destroying the city. It's stomping around, obliterating buildings. Who knows how many cans of food it's crushing. You're the only one who can stop it. Super annoyed monster time. Some epic. Yep, save the city. He's I know what this is. Yep. The plot thickens. The group drives a few feet and almost runs over the monster. It turned out to be someone in a monster suit. Stepping on a small cardboard city. Sorry, I'm stuck in the suit. She climbs into the car. Kaiju joins the team. Yeah, I knew that, that happened. Oh yeah, Kaiju also has extra health, so that's really good. Someone from the team could be sent to distract. Calm and try. Okay, I know Jablin is super calm, but I don't know his loyalty. You should probably pick Jablin. <laughs> Nice one, fathead. How did he get hurt? Did he, like, jump in front of the car? Dang. Okay, Billy's medical is already pretty good, so I guess... Perfect. it could have been a good idea. Oh, deadly Walmart for sure. Bullet-ridden house usually just has some bullets, and it, they're not usually that good. Every now and then you get a really good gun in there, though. Like, I found an Uzi in there once, but food is more important, I'd say. Personally, personally. I'm gonna put I'm gonna put the chainsaw on here. You don't need to use that. Um, Kaiju just uses their claws. So. Let's go. So it's super packed in here. That's the thing about Deadly Almars. So these are if you're brand new to the game, I would not suggest going into these places. Is you will probably get hurt a lot if you don't know what you're doing. Like, even I know what I'm doing, right? But I still get hurt in these places sometimes. Oh, Billy, stop shooting! Stop! Stop that, Billy! Stop it! Billy! No! I can't stupid see! Oh, aluminum bat? No way. Aluminum, aluminum bat doesn't break and it's stupid OP. Hey, fathead, take... Take that. And the nail board can hit multiple enemies at a time, so that's good. Dude, no way, another aluminum bat? Are you kidding me? Okay, yeah, this place is stacked. Getting meds, too. Lots of meds, lots of food. See, Omarts are always the best because they give you lots, usually lots of ammo and food. I don't think I've ever gotten this many meds at Yalmark, though. So you're gonna clear out this place and then go into the storerooms. I don't wanna leave any stone unturned here, and then we can just run out and go back to the car. Throwing boots are also really fun, but they're kinda useless, not gonna lie, so. You can take that. I'm gonna take the throwing boot. Because they, they're usually like a, let's see, nice one. Okay, well, I didn't get him. <laughs> Couldn't show you that one. Yeah, I see they're a two-tap. So, again, they're kind of useless because they don't really, they don't like fly back to you or whatever. So, kind of duty sauce, but they're fun. They're fun. I really want the stupid one to the fork, but that's, that's. Okay, good, I got both of them. I thought I didn't for a second. Cleaver. Cleavers are kind of duty sauce. Give me my throwing boots back. We got two bats. That's really good. Overall for the team, that's just fantastic. Okay, let's go. Now for the storm. Yes, gasoline, food. More food and even more food. Beautiful. You love to see it. Beautiful. 
Um, there we go. The one last room should be another storeroom. No, give me my other throwing boot. No, give me no, give me my throwing boot. Fat head. Okay, there we go. More gasoline, let's go. We'll have we want to have plenty of gasoline by the end of this for the chainsaw. And all the stuff when I pick up an item in the bottom of the screen, that's the stuff I've gotten in the current encounter. Let's see, 30. I don't remember. I don't know if getting the slam was that good. It doesn't. I don't remember getting 50 rounds. But, uh, okay. Yep, yeah, we're good to go. Okay, let's get out of here. And I like to give the bots, the AI, the good weapons. Um, because usually they're much better with them than like I am. And they, they, they're really good AI in this game actually, so they will, they'll, they'll get crap done, man. They will obliterate some fools. See? Look at that, that's beautiful. That is, that is beautiful. That's a lot of supplies, man. That's a lot of supplies. But you know what there's also a lot of? Ends to the episodes. Wow, that was that was a really bad one. I'm sorry for that. Anyways, this is the end of the episode. Uh, if you guys enjoyed it, please let me know. Thanks for watching.